Introducing Social Banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Why not waste? Why not recycling? I think, you know, as a woman, you know, people might think that it's dirty, it's not something that women should do. I saw the opportunity that was there in this field, and I also saw the impact that we could have on people's lives, and that's really what drove me. My name is Bilikis Adebi Abiola, and I'm a young CEO. I got my bachelor's degree in the US in computer science and I got a master's degree because I wanted to learn more about computers in um, Vanderbilt University in the US. I worked on a large, um, on software for large companies and um, you know, I learned quite a bit about what companies need and how to you know, support um, organizations, you know, top 500 organizations. And while I was at school at MIT, I learned about the huge opportunities in waste, especially in developing countries. And I was drawn to it because I'm from Nigeria and I knew that, you know, Nigeria has a lot of opportunities and uh, decided to come back to Nigeria. I moved back in 2012, in August of 2012, and started with Cyclers. So we Cyclers is a company, it's a recycling company that helps people capture value from their waste. And, you know, the way we do it is that we basically are trying to help to encourage people to see that, you know, to learn about proper waste management practices. We had seen that, you know, people that have waste, live in waste, that live with, you know, in dirty areas, they have issues with their health, it affects them, it affects them financially. So we see that actually providing people with a way of disposing of their waste properly will actually help to improve their lives. We have a very innovative um, model. We have a fleet of low cost tricycles, which we call waste cycles that go from house to house to collect their waste. At the, you know, at the point of collection, the household gives us their plastic bottles or you know, pure water sachets and aluminum cans, and we weigh the material and record it. The waste is then brought to our hubs, where it's further sorted and aggregated before being sold to recyclers. And the household will automatically receive an SMS for each of their, collect each of their um, collections with us and their SMS records basically how much of each kind of waste they've given us, as well as the total number of points they've been able to accumulate. And you know, households can accumulate the points and then redeem the points for, for prizes. We've been running for about one and a half years. Since then, we've been able to build 29 waste cycles here in Nigeria. We have 31 employees. We've collected over 200 tons of waste and we've been able to give households over 1 million naira of prizes and um, you know, incentives to encourage them to recycle. So we're very, very proud of what we've been able to accomplish in such a short period of time. When we started, we had about three people working for us. I actually was one of the collectors going on the routes to collect because I wanted to understand how it will work. You know, I wanted to do the work and now we've grown to a company of 31 and we are hoping that in the next two to three years we can have about 2,000 people working for this company. So the way we worked out as, um, you know, to start the company, we're very fortunate. We got grants, so that was the money that we used to start up the business. And, you know, as we started, you know, operating and we were getting results, we were able to get more fellowships and prizes. And we also got support from the Lagos State Government. You know, the Lagos State Government has been very, very supportive. And also companies. So I think waste management, there is a lot of opportunity. You know, it's not really something, it's not, it's not banking, it's not being a doctor, but it's, you know, it's a service. I consider waste to be a resource that never ends. We all, as human beings, we're always going to produce waste. You know, so why not go into waste? Because you're always going to have waste. You know, so it's, and, and there's not that many companies that are doing this. 
so there's an opportunity to you know to start something and be a trailblazer in that field and you know I, I, I really saw that opportunity and I jumped on that opportunity. The reason why we chose uh, bicycles instead of using a truck or a van was very simple. We wanted to do something that was ch the cheapest way possible because we're students and we didn't really have a budget, a big budget. So we knew that we needed to do something that was cheap. So bicycles are actually the cheapest form of transportation. And we chose bicycles because we also thought, you know, when you look at the maintenance costs, you know, you're not going to buy fuel, you're not going to think about engines, you know. So that really was the motivation for, for bicycles. And another thing that really, you know, was our driving force was that we wanted to build local talent, local technical know-how in Nigeria. People that can build, so we, you know, bicycles, people that can repair bicycles, you know, build that so that there will be jobs. So we actually have uh, local welders that we train to, to produce and maintain our uh, recycles for us. The impact that we've made on a large scale, I would say it's, it's um, you know, the number, amount of waste that we've been able to take away from communities. So the waste that, you know, like the plastic bottles, the pure water sachets and cans, people don't really have proper waste management habits. So they will dump the waste on the streets or in the drainages. So we basically have um, diverted, diverted the waste away from these communities, away from the landfill and into the recycling value chain. So that companies that, are, that can recycle these products can use them to make things. So we have buyers that buy our plastic bottles, for instance, and they use it to make um, fiber, which can be used for pillows. We have somebody that buys the pure water sachets and uses it to make trash bags. So for everything that we collect, there is a product that can be made from it. Another impact that we've had is that we've been able to create jobs. So we've, have, we've been able to create 31 jobs since we started. We would like our company, apart from being you know, a sustainable company that generates revenue, to also have a positive impact on the lives of the people that we are serving by helping to improve their lives and also to educate them on the importance of proper waste management practices. The most important thing I will tell a young entrepreneur is that once you've decided on an idea and you really truly have done your research and you believe that it's a good one, is don't give up. Because while I, when I was uh, starting out with cyclers, people had all kinds of suggestions and ways that we could modify our business model, things that we could do differently. But I really was convinced that we we're doing the right thing. And I stuck with it. And I, I believe that once you, once you can just marry your idea, believe in it, you know, you will begin to see the, you know, the results. So don't give up. Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now? And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.